Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. It is so great to see all of your smiling faces out there. And welcome to this, the next in our series of videos that we like to call Quick Tips. I try and cram as much of my scuba diving knowledge into a video five minutes or less. Now these quick tip videos, more often than not, are suggested by you guys, my viewership, in the comment sections of different videos. And I root through and, oh yeah, that's a good idea. I can make a video for this one. And this is no exception. Today we're talking about fin choices. Gloria Dayton 71 posted a comment asking, why do I own six pairs of fins when presumably I only have two feet? Gloria's a new subscriber to this channel. Welcome, Gloria. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to do so. It's right down there. Let's dive in. I'm going to give you the chronology of all of my fin selections as they pertain to my diving career. First up, Maris Avanti Quattros. I've been a diver for 23 years. I've owned Maris Avanti Quattros for 23 years. The first pair of these fins were hand-me-downs from my open water instructor, a guy by the name of Steve Pooley in the United Kingdom. He just said, I'm done with these and, and gave them to me uh, very kindly. I dove them all the way through to Dive Master. I had them stolen from me while I was working in Thailand. I went out the next day and bought the exact same pair in the exact same color. They might have been the same fins, just sold back. No, they were new. But same style, same size, everything. Uh, these are your classic standard issue Dive Master fin. They're flexible enough to not give you leg cramp when you're doing five or six dives a day, but stiff enough that you can keep up with a runaway DSD. Um, they're the perfect warm water tropical fin, easy to put on, easy to take off, and a nice generous sized foot pocket with a good grip on the bottom. And the design hasn't changed for decades. They just got it right the first time. So this is the second pair of Avanti Quattros I've owned. Uh, and they're still going strong, they're a little bit dinged up, but I still use these here in South Florida and for any of my warm water diving vacations. They're not super heavy, they're easy to pack, although slightly longer. Um, and yeah, I just, I love these, they go right and I don't, I don't mess around really. Next pair of fins I came into contact with was when I started technical diving and they were the Scuba Pro Jet Fins. Now, currently I own two pairs of Jet Fins, as you can see here. These ones are size double extra large, these ones are size extra large. This is a good point for you guys. Why would I own the same pair of fins in two different sizes? Well, my feet are size 14 and that doesn't change, but the size of my boot does change. Sometimes I wear a three mil boot, a five mil boot, a seven mil boot, or my rock boots for my dry suit. So even though both of these fit a size 14 foot with the bungee straps, the size of the foot pocket differs, which means when I wear my rock boots, which are heavier, thicker sold and wider, I wear the extra, extra large with a dry suit. And for also dry suit diving, if I'm not wearing heavy, heavy boots or with a, like a really thick wetsuit boot, then I go to these size large jet fins. But the thing you gotta know about jet fins, and I was asked this question by somebody else recently is, they are incredibly heavy. They're very, very negatively buoyant fins. So you really wanna be diving a dry suit if you're gonna use a fin that's this dense to keep your feet down and keep you in trim. If you're in shorts on a rash guard diving a 30 foot reef, you're gonna be diving it in a diagonal position because your legs are gonna be super heavy. So that takes care of the jet fins. Next fins I moved on to are the RK3s from Apex or Aqualung. I bought this pair, the black pair, in what they call Super, which is their extra large size, when I was working for an Aqualung Apex dealer. And these are now my go-to warm water tech fins. I say warm water because usually I'm in either no wetsuit or a very, very thin wetsuit, and these aren't as heavy and negative as the jet fins. So these get a lot more use here in South Florida. And again, I have these in two sizes. The super size I use when I'm wearing five mil wetsuit boots and the large size, which I bought this white pair from secondhand from a local dive instructor who was selling them uh, to have for when I wear three mil boots. I also like the fact that these are white because I could white balance a camera when I'm taking underwater video against them because they're six feet away and it's the perfect distance to get a shot of them and then use them for color correction in my editing software. So those are the RK3s. Again, I have two pairs of those and I use those for warm water technical diving. 
And then the last pair of fins I own are these Aqualung Storm fins that were actually given to me by Aqualung to make a video for Scuba Diver Magazine, which I'll link up above there where I review these fins. Um, and these are just a single injected monoprene design, super soft, open heel, but you don't need to wear booties with them. They're really comfortable foot pocket. I've had no chafing, no blisters, and I've actually been finding myself using these fins more and more. Not good for shore diving, because you need to protect the soles of your feet if you're walking into and out of the ocean. But for what we do here in South Florida, which is warm water, shallow reef, boat diving, these are absolutely ideal. I don't need to wear boots. I'm in a rash guard, shorts, I just slip these on my feet and away I go. So I've been getting a lot of use out of these that I didn't think I was going to, and they've stolen some dives from my Avanti Quattros, which I would have been in otherwise for those dives. And they're just a great little travel fin that I can just throw in and, you know, carry on baggage and away I go. So there you have it, Gloria. These are my fin selections and the types of dives that I use each fin for. And I hope you found this video informative and I hope it helps you to make the right fin selection for you. I do often feel that fins are overlooked because they're not as complicated a piece of equipment as a BCD or a regulator and they're generally not as expensive. So I do feel that sometimes with some divers, fin selection becomes kind of an afterthought. It's like, okay, how much money do I have left in my budget to buy fins with and those are the fins I can afford. But you really do want to think about the type of diving you're doing, whether you do cold water or warm water, fresh water or salt, are you in a dry suit or a wet suit? Are you doing a lot of boat diving or shore diving? All of those factors feature into what fins I'm gonna pull off of my gear wall to take with me on my next adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it the old thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already because it really helps us out and helps us to keep making these videos. Don't forget that we have two giveaways currently running at the time of posting this video. One for the Shearwater Peregrine computer, which I reviewed last Monday. I'll put the link to that video there. And the second one for the Aquinas Dive Watch. I'll put the link to that video right there. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, my name is James. This was your quick tips video from Divers Ready for this week. Dive safe, dive often.